in this video we will see that how to use while loop in MATLAB so we will just write a basic simple program that how we can calculate factorial of a number using MATLAB so I have opened my MATLAB window as you can see here and here I will open a new script so uh, in the new script I will uh, write the code instead of writing that in the command window ok so as I said always that uh, before you write any program so write these uh, three commands always so that uh, your program will be clean one is CLC one is clear all and one is close all ok now after this uh, last class I think I told you that uh, how to use uh, sections in MATLAB so that is very important here so I will create one section in the program so if you see if I give double percentage symbol then it creates a section for me, uh, a section for me and I will write the uh, section in this particular section what exact code I am going to write or what part of the code I am going to write. So here I will write that prompt the user to give the input. Okay, so which input basically I am going to calculate the factorial of a number. So I will ask the user that please enter a number for which you want to calculate a factorial. So we will consider that the user only give a positive integers because if it gives negative integer then factorial cannot be found there. So let us initially consider that the user will give only a positive integer. So considering that we will write the program and we will see also if by mistake there is a negative uh, in, uh, input then what to do with that we, we can we will see that also. Okay, Now how to take the input? So here I will write n equals to. So I am taking a variable whose name is n and I am taking the input from the user. So for that the syntax is just write x e n equals to input. And in the input you write a prompt so that the user will understand that what exactly you are asking there. So here you will write enter the number for which factorial is to be calculated. So this message will pop up with the uh, user interface and give a semicolon. Don't, don't forget to give semicolon always. Now this uh, particular section is complete. Now this section tells about from the user to take a input, right? So next we will do another section here. So what happens if you write the section later on if a big pro, uh, program is there, it's easy to understand that in which section, which part of the algorithm of the code has been written. So next we will see that uh, we will initialize a variable which is our factorial because initially we will consider that the factorial value is 1 and depending on the input we will calculate the factorial. So initialize the factorial value. So we'll consider that the initial factorial value is equals to one. So let me write factorial. Okay. So that is equals to. Let me take this value is equals to one. Initially the value is equals to one. We'll consider that. Okay. This is one section I have initialized. In this section, if there is a big program and so many variables are there, so you can initialize all the uh, variables here and you can name the section as initialization of the variables. So next we will see that we will do the calculation of the factorial. Now we have the initial value. Now uh, from here, we got what we got the user input here. Okay, now we will calculate the value and as we are uh, using a while loop, so I will write while and while always takes a condition what will be the condition if n is greater than 0 just write a simple condition n is greater than 0 uh, so you can give a space between them also so that it will look clean but i generally don't give so what it will do it will check that whether the n is greater than 0 or not if it is greater than 0 then it will do some operation so what operation it will do so it will calculate the factorial it will calculate the factorial how it will calculate that is equals to factorial okay into into what into the variable n here okay whatever the value if you take n 1 2 3 it will multiply that and we will just give a semicolon here next line what we will do we will decrement the value of n by 1 so n is equals to n minus 1 so what it will do if you take 5 so let us understand how the program is going to work if i take n equals to 5 then for it will check for while n equals to n greater than 0 or not so 5 is greater than 0 then what it will do it will calculate factorial into n factorial value i have taken initially equals to 1 so it will calculate 1 into 5 so answer is 5 now 
after that calculating uh, that multiplication now the factorial value is equals to 5 and value of n will decrease by 1 now the n is equals to 4 so again the for loop will continue while loop will continue how why it will continue unless and until this condition is true it will repeatedly it will continue that is what the concept of while loop is okay so now what we will do here i have to write one statement end means where is the condition under the while loop is ending so if you write end then it will understand that okay this much of a program lines i have to execute within the while loop if one condition is satisfied then these are the things i need to do okay now let us understand if n equals to 5 what will happen so next round what will happen n equals to 4 now it will check whether 4 is greater than 0 4 is greater than 0 yes so what it will do it will again calculate the factorial in the previous loop what happened factorial value is now equals to 5 so it will calculate now 5 into 4 so 5 into 4 is 20 so 20 it will store in the factorial variable and then n will decrement by 1 that means n will become 3 again it will check whether n is uh, sorry 3 is greater than 0 or not 3 is greater than 0 so again it will calculate the factorial like this it will go on when n is equals to 1 it will check 1 is greater than 0 the condition is true and then it will calculate the factorial after that what will happen n will be becomes equals to 0 so when n is equals to 0 so it will check whether 0 is greater than 0 no then what will happen it will stop the program fine so that's how the factorial is calculated next part is what we need to display the value so here i'll make one section display the result i'll write here so how to display so for display we have used the function like dasp so this uh, for display you can use that then in bracket you can write in double quote the factorial is i'll end the double quote end this and in the next line i'll again write display here we'll write factorial which is my variable okay so see here the factorial variable i am writing the same variable name that i have taken here and this variable name you should not write inside a quote otherwise it will take it as a string or message so this code is completed now it will display the value so let us run the code so when you run the code by default it will ask to save the code somewhere so i'll just save while loop remember do not give any space when you save any program in matlab just click hit enter now again if i run it so it will show that in it goes to the command window okay so it's showing some error let me check what is the error Okay. Okay, it is asking enter the actually I forgot the semicolon there. It is asking the enter the number for which factorial is to be calculated. So I'll press five, then hit enter, it gives me the factorial is equals to one twenty. So if I run that code again, so if I run the code again, see it is again asking me what is the factorial to be calculated. Let me take 10 this time. If I take 10, then the factorial is 3, 3628800. So like this, it will calculate the factorial. Now, if you want to see this uh, window at one place, so what you can do here, you can go to this editor window and you can doc editor so if you click on doc editor now in one window it will be there so that it will be easy so now if i click it again it will again enter the number for which factorial to be calculated let me take 20 here and hit enter it will give the value so it is a very big value so it is taking 2.4329 into 10 to the power plus 18 so that's how it is calculating the value the factorial is this much so there is another way also to display this uh, message rather than having two lines so i'll write disp so this is just another way to display so this single quote you give then the factorial okay the factorial is so here you have to use unpercent and it is called also unpercent d forward slash n 
okay then complete the single quote then write comma then write factorial so whichever variable you have taken and i'll delete this line so here what has happened so in one line only we can do the thing so this number to be color let me take 6 this time okay so uh, too many input arguments uh, okay so this program will work with f print i take in the wrong one so if you write f print here again i'll write 6 again some error is there f print i think it's f print f let me just check okay so here it is uh, coming like this so here enter the number for which factorial to be calculated is getting too long so what i'll do here i'll just write enter the number so that the message will be less and give a space again if i run this now see it's it will display enter the number i'll enter let's say 5 and it will tell the factorial is 20 120 so like this you can use a for loop for uh, calculating your uh, uh, factorial you sorry using while loop you can calculate your factorial in the next video we'll see some other example of a, a while loop and uh, if you have any doubt you can write on the comment thank you